You young people are all alike, filled with fears and doubts. Cholita knows it was her father's wish. Amigos míos! Amigos míos! I have brought you from your fields and homes to give you good news. Today, after her long absence in Mexico City, my niece Cholita returns to us. In her honor, I declare a three-day fiesta! Viva! Today is a great day. Don Jose will marry Cholita and everything will be good for Bob at the end of it. A lot better. When the senorita arrives, you step forward with these flowers and you tell her how glad we are that she has come back to stay with us. You understand? Now? No, not now. When the senorita Cholita arrives this afternoon.
Now? No, not now. This is very bad news. Now she will not marry Don Jose. She will go away. Very sad. We are waiting for your blessing, senor. My blessing? Prosperda, you must give me more time to think of all this. This happy news. Come, Chalita. You'll have the honor of opening the fiesta. <laughs> Tell me, my friend, are you a native? Well, yes and no. I was born in Caribbean Sea, you see. And my mother was Mediterranean. My father was Hugo Checo. My grandmother was European. And uh, my grandfather, he was uh, Oriental. And I, well, I am, <laughs> I am Occidental. Such a wild country, senor. Very beautiful. Full of wild animals. Look! What is that beast? Just a goat. Hmm. So big. She must be the mother of all goats. Look! Indians! Wild Indians! Only our natives doing the Oaxaca bloom dance. I suppose you have plenty trouble with bandits. Bandits? Of course. I must take Chilita back to Mexico City where it is safe. It is safe here. Oh, you only say that, senor. But I know. Of course, I'm not afraid for myself. Oh, no. But Chilita, she will be much happier when I take her away from this terrible place. Are you happy, my dear? Oh, yes, very. It is so good to be back. It seems as if I've never been away. Nothing has changed. It is all just as I remember it. People change. 
places rarely ever. You have changed. You're more beautiful than ever. Oh, I thought you meant that You I... had new ideas? I have. <laughs> I know. And Jose knows it, too. Where is Jose? I've looked everywhere for him. Why is he not here? He was. He waited like a bridegroom. But when he heard that you were returning with your future husband, he went away. He never came to see me in Mexico City. How was I to know that he... Why does he not come now? Who knows what a lover will do? Sweet little muchacha, with a great understanding of a man like me, my little dog. Uh, Tell me more about your adventure, Fernando. Well... Tell me about Maria. What happened to her? Well, as you know, Maria was kidnapped by bandits who hid her in an old house. <laughs> my public. <clears throat> I heard of the kidnapping. I found out where the hideout was. I went to the rescue. I put on my mask, I jumped upon my horse, and with a cry of away, Goldie, I rolled away. Up in the cabin, Maria was desperate. She was about to give up hope, when suddenly, she heard the pounding of my horse's hoofs. And then, she, 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 then... The bandits fell back, gasping. It was the great Fernando. See, si, see, si, see, si. it was me, the great Fernando, riding to her rescue with the speed of light. <laughs> I rode into the mob. I leaped from my horse, using only my whip to disarm the bandits. And while my horse held them at bay, I dashed into the burning building, unafraid. Smoke got in my throat. <coughs> my throat. It was horrible. Si, si. But you got to Maria in time. Yes. I took her into my arms. And as I dashed from the burning building just before it collapsed, ah, she was safe. She had fainted. Oh. I keezed her. And then what happened? And then... Then came the commercial, and I was continued till next week. Oh. Oh. Why is he called the Great Fernando? Because he's very great man. Very strong in radio, like, uh, like, uh, the bull. Oh, see, si, see, si, like the bull. <sighs> now? A little cuckoo seems interested in Fernando. I have noticed that. She's a sweet child, but Fernando is my fiancé. Yes, I know, but she's with him every minute. Ah, look, there they are. Come, Coca, sing for us. Pepito found a fine young jumping bean. See, see, he did. This bean could jump like no bean you have seen. See, see, yes, it could. Down deep in his pocket, the bean will go jump, jump, jump. Wherever he locked it, still will go jump, jump, jump. Pepito loved his little jumping bean. Yes, he did. Ah, oh, very much. But never, never trust the jumping bean. You never know where they may land. They frequently get into the tambourine. Yes, they frequently they do and Pepito and his fine young jumping bean. You know, say me. We're strolling into town one afternoon. Oh, boy. Some fun. 
When out of his jacket, the bean made it jump, jump, jump. Unless and a lack, it was going with a bump, bump, bump. And being a discerning jumping bean, stee, stee. Yes, it was. He jumped into the shirt of the village queen. Uh oh. Oh, never, never trust a jumping bean. You never know where they may go. They frequently invade the mezzanine. Yes, frequently they do so. Pepito made a dive for the jumping bean. Mistake. Too bad. It caused the biggest row you've ever seen. Sad case. Very sad. Pepito decided the bean was the ball gaboo. He thought about that as he sat in the car. La boo. Then suddenly his heart went thump, thump, thump. See, see. Yes, he did. He saw between the bars they jump, jump, jump. There it was. The bean. Oh, never, never trust a jumping bean. He's sure to make you feel so sad. They frequently get in your tambourine. And when they do it very, very bad. Fernando. The hacienda is very nice, but the country is so wild. Not like the city. Oh, you are such a cosmopolitan. Come, watch the sandunga. I am very tired. I must retire. Good night, Philip. Fernando. He's a friend of this country. He thinks of the wild animals and bandits behind every cactus plant. Do you think he's a Mexican? I doubt it very much. And he's afraid of this country? I believe so. Bandits. Bad men. <laughs> what an imagination. Perhaps we could teach him both a lesson. We need some bad men. We have no bad man here. Pancho here is a very bad man himself. Huh? Who, me, senor? In fact, you are the toughest man in all of Mexico. I'm no tough man. Even my wife, if she tells me what to do. And you, senor, you will help us. Of course. Now. <laughs> Children, tomorrow is another day. It is already getting late. Come, Cholita. Sing for us that song your father and I love so much. Muchachos, la golondrina.
don't understand about Jose. Why isn't he here to greet me? You said he would return. It is better that you should not know. What is this mystery? What has he done? I'm not sure, but... A bandit? Oh, not Jose. Tio, we must find out and stop him before it is too late. You're right, my dear. And you're the one to help him. Do all that I can. When will he come? Tomorrow. Just take my regular morning exercise. <laughs> Have you seen uh, Cholita this morning, where is she? I can answer your question, senor. Cholita is in the chapel. Perhaps praying for the soul of a man. The man she loves. <laughs> Run along, Cuca. I want to talk to the senor. Oh. A word with you, senor. I have just heard that some very bad men are riding to the hacienda to join in the fiesta. Bad men? Si. They shoot. They drink. And we must humor them because they hate everybody as much as they hate each other. Well, can't you stop them? No, senor, we cannot do that. They will shoot their way in. And they're very good shots, too. Well, can't you call the police? Senor, you yourself said that this was a wild country. We have no police for 50 miles. We handle these situations ourselves. We handle them badly. But it is the best we can do. It is simpler to let them have their own way than is to have uh, trouble or perhaps Shooting or murder? Shooting? Murder? No! But look here. Oh, that? Oh, yes, sir. Tú llevas a lo mejor. Vamos, vamos, muchacha, vamos, vamos. Where did you get the funny looking clothes? <laughs> <laughs> To shoot, no? Easy, easy shot. <laughs> ah, senor, this is much alive. Once I shoot a cigarette, and what do you think is left in hombre's mouth? No cigarette? No teeth. Mm. Hey, Pancho, come here. You play with us too, Hernando, eh? Come. Shoot at me a cigarette. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'd rather not. Come on, shoot. And suppose I shoot him. What if I miss cigarette? If you miss cigarette, I should. And I will not miss you. Come on, shoot. This is outrageous. Fernando is nervous. There may be an accident. You must stop this to you. I'm helpless. You helpless. I've seen the day when you would handle such men single-handed. But there's reason. 
We never do this on the radio. But here, yes. Come on, shoot. I will stop oh, myself. Cholita, no. It is too dangerous. Go on, shoot. <laughs> Pretty good shot, huh? First I thought you were shooting at Pancho. Oh no, you shoot the canary. <laughs> and now I shoot a Fernando. Yeah, oh, I like him very much to shoot him ever since I heard him make his radio speech. Vamos, Fernando. Cigarette in your mouth. <laughs> Let me go! <laughs> Good shot, Pancho! You hit the cigarette! I swallowed the cigarette! <laughs> oh, get out! Oh, Fernando! I like a woman with courage. A brave woman. You have spirit. Go! Yes, but not alone. Pancho, give me my guitar. Quién sabe? Will the music ever play again? There is loveliness and laughter tonight, but after tonight, who knows? Quién sabe? Life may never be so gay again. Take what rapture you can borrow, my heart. Tomorrow, my heart, who knows? The wine shining guitar. So say adios, and the flame that's burning high with the night may die with the night. Quien sabe? By the magic of fiesta, I am blessed. The fiesta is ended. Will my dream end too? Jose. Yes, Cholita. It is Jose. And yesterday I thought you had forgotten me. Oh, Jose, I've been so worried about you. Tio suspects that you have turned bandit. Why have you done this? What is that? The posse, probably. They hunt for me. Oh, you must go quickly or they will find you. Please. <laughs> Go quickly. Uh, hey, Cholita, go that way. This way, this door. Remember, go away for my sake. 
What were you doing in the storeroom, senorita? The storeroom? Yes, the storeroom. She's bad business. Suppose someone see us. We bring bandits. We shoot him before he shoot us. Shh. Nobody here. Good, Wiggy. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Our little trick is not going to work too well. I'm so sorry, senor. Very sad. Come, Pancho, they are going to dance. See, si, they're gypsy dancers from the Spanish Revista. single-handedly, I would have torn them limb from limb if I hadn't been taken ill. I love Fernando. But don't worry. Cholita is back. She is? Ah, uh, but she's lost to me now. She will never forgive me. Will never realize I was unable to write to her rescue. Such a lovely girl, too. And such a big rancho. Of course, I wasn't thinking of the rancho. I know, Fernando. If you were a fortune hunter, you would consider my two ranchos. Oh, I am no fortune. Two ranchos? You little cuca? <laughs> Imagine a little child like you burdened with two ranchos. Gee, si. and I'm all alone too. I wish I had a big man to, <laughs> to advise me. Well, my little flower, <clears throat> I am never too busy to help you with your problems. <laughs> <clears throat> In the meantime, I must make explanations to Shulita. <laughs> to Rancho. Oh, my 
dear. I'm so glad you escaped from that bandit. I was terribly worried. Oh, it was good of you to worry, Tio. But I have been thinking. Everything worked out very easily for those bandits. Did it not? What do you mean? Seems strange that I should be imprisoned here on the rancho and you couldn't find me. And Jose, what a peculiar bandit he is. So safe from the police. Well, you see, Cholita, You needn't I... go on, Tio. I understand. It was all a hoax to discredit my fiancé. Oh, Tio, what a despicable thing it was for you and Jose to do. You see, Jose had really Please, nothing... Tio. I don't wish to hear any more about it. <laughs> the truth. Do you really love Fernando? Yes. Very much. And has he made love to you? Mm, a little bit. When he heard I had two ranchos. Cook, I have made many mistakes. Yes. I don't want you to do the same thing. No, Cholita, I won't. But I warn you, Fernando is a fortune hunter. Oh. No, it is not true. He just thinks two ranches are better than one. <laughs> we have a problem. These men. I think it is time we take the situation into our hands. But what can we do? You, you are to go with Fernando. You say you hate Jose. <laughs> Fool them as they have fooled us. I will tell you what to do. ready to leave. Now Paco comes and tells me you're staying. Is that true? Yes. But last night you said we are leaving before the carnival. I have learned many things since last night. What? Mainly that I must remain here. Stay here? Oh, what of my radio? What of my public? <laughs> that, my good friend, is something you will have to decide for yourself. No, no, no. I cannot do it. I will not stay in this wilderness. And I will not go with you. It is better this way, Fernando. Two ranchos. <laughs> I've come to apologize, Cholita. For what? Last night. But of course you know all about it. Yes, I do. I'm sorry I did it. Gio told me it was because... Because I love you. That part was real. But now you tell me you are sorry. Let me explain, Cholita. Dance with me. Please. Will the walls ever 
service always. Adios, Jose. Adios. Where are you going? I'm going to Mexico City with Fernando. <laughs> Cholita, you mock me. No, no. I am staying here. A woman must have her adventures, too. Now. <laughs> 